Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I'm going to show you how to construct a box uh, for Sachi Art, so a crate. Um, so let me show you real quick. I've already cut the panels, so let me just show the panel. I'll move this. Um, well, hopefully you can see this panel. Let me see how much you guys can see. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so now let me show you the actual framed artwork itself so that you can kind of see where it sits. Okay, so here is the painting, uh, or at least the frame of the painting, and I want that. So now, according to Sochi Art, you need about three inches of separation on each side. So my painting came out to about 20, it was 27 and a half by, 21 and a half. I don't know if you can see that again. Okay, good. Um, so it was 21 and a half by 27 and a half. So I needed three inches of space on each side. So you can see that I have about three inches um, down here. I don't know if you can see it, but we've got about three inches. It's a little deceptive because the bubble wrap and then three inches and three inches. So when I cut this, this, I, uh, okay. So just so you know, three inches on of space around the piece, okay? Now, let's talk about this piece right here. So this piece, the panel was, um, this is just plywood, it's three eighths. Uh, the reason I went with three eighths is uh, Sachi Art tells you a quarter, between a quarter, uh, you can do a quarter to a half inch, depending on what you're shipping. So I kind of went right in between and did three eighths. Um, now this is going to be the side panel um, for the case. And again, I've never done this before, so this is a first for me, but I think I have a pretty good idea of how to do this. So this will be the side panel, and then you'll have basically the, the outsides of the box, the frame. And I was going to initially use plywood, right? But that's not very sturdy. Um, and so I went to Home Depot and I, I went to Home Depot and I got these uh, one by six. Um, and so I basically, I went and got them measured. So you'll obviously have to measure it, but I'll talk about the measurements in a second. So I got the one by six one by six is cut and they fit beautifully, which is great because I was worried that they wouldn't. And I guess I could take that off. Um, so those and then this. Okay. So there is our crate. All right. And that's essentially all there really is to it is just this, um, this crate. So uh, that's pretty much it uh, as far as the layout. You can see if we stick our piece in there, there is a little bit of a gap on all sides, which is perfect. This is what you want because on the covers, there's going to be foam. Um, so, you know, that's going to push this up a little bit. But then basically around the whole thing, because this is the frame, there's also the glass piece, which I'll put that in there as well. Um, but we're gonna put foam in there and then we're gonna put the pieces and then we are going to fill the rest with bubble wrap. So let's go ahead and start with the frame. Now, Sachi Art tells you to do the top part last and it looks like this is the better um, piece. So I'm gonna use this as the top and we'll use this as the bottom. Now, I hope I didn't just mess the camera. Um, so we're gonna move these and we are going to move this. <coughs> um, to work on, but I actually have another piece I think, I think it's this one so we'll just use this uh, as it works this is another piece that I had cut that was actually too short so we're gonna use this as our, our workstation so we're gonna start with the 
bigger pieces here. And essentially what we need to do is we need to drill these two together. Now, unfortunately, I don't have, um, I don't have any clamps. I, again, I don't, I lack the tools to do this. Um, but we're going to try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up uh, with my wall. I'm going to use my wall as a brace. And in fact, I think what I'll do is I'll use this board with the pieces to flush, flush it out. So I'll just use that as a brace. And for this piece, I will go ahead and use that to keep that in place. Um, so then, I don't know how much you can see. I may have to adjust this. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill, we're going to pre-drill uh, through the end. that even yeah that should be fine okay so now we're going to use our doo -doo 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 -doo. we're going to use some screws and I got some general purpose screws they're one and one quarter I don't know if you can see that but one and one quarter uh, so we're going to bust these bad boys out Now, before I use those, I'm going to go ahead and put some wood glue on this, just to kind of help uh, seal it. So I've got wood glue, I've got this at Home Depot. I got this at Home Depot, the wood at Home Depot, uh, the wood glue at Home Depot, so. So, I'll go ahead and put some wood glue on there, just a little bit. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put that back. And then we will line it up. Let's use that as our brace. And once they're lined up, we'll go ahead and drive them in. Um, is this one in the corner? Is that going to be long enough? I don't think that's going to be long enough. So, I may have to switch to some longer screws. I, for some reason, thought that that was going to be long enough, but apparently it is not. So, give me one second. Oh, I think I moved it a little bit. Okay, so I do have some longer screws. I don't have any other screws on me, so I'm going to have to use these but I think they'll be okay. So these are actually two inch, um, so that's gonna, that's gonna drive into it. Should be okay. Okay, cool. So now, now that we've got that one, we'll go ahead and do the same with this. So we'll slide this over. 
slide that over. And we're gonna put this extra piece down here so we can level it out. Apparently I have a bunch of markers over here. drill. I don't know what you can see, so let me move this. Hopefully you can see that. All right. See that? So now we're going to set this aside and let this dry. So we're going to leave it. Okay, so now we need to Put the foam on our the inside panel of our of our cover. So what we'll do is to measure out the size uh, for how thick the foam needs to be. We'll simply put the two by four up to it and mark it that way. So we'll go ahead and let's take our sharpie and just run it along the inside of the, the board. Now we know how how much foam we need to cut for the inside of it. Now we'll probably cut it a, a little bit smaller, um, just so that it's not right up against the two by fours. 
um, but it's big enough to protect the artwork. So we're gonna leave this one. We're gonna do it to another piece. So now we know how big we need our foam to be. So we'll start with this piece here and we'll go ahead and put the, we're gonna go ahead and cut our foam. So if I'm right, this should be, oh, I think it was gonna be 27 and a half by, uh, 27 and a half by 24 and a half. So let's find out. This was 25, okay, and 31. All right, well, a little bit over, um, but that's fine. So we'll go ahead and cut our foam. Let me go ahead and grab it. Now, the foam that I'm using, I'm just going to show you this big old piece. Uh, this is the foam I'm using. This is from Home Depot. This is what they gave me when I told them foam board. I'm pretty sure that you could get some other kind of foam from, uh, you know, from some other store that isn't this, right? This is like some kind of insulating type foam, but you can get regular foam board from probably a craft store. But anyway, we're going to use it because I've got it. So... I will go ahead and cut it down, and it was, what, 25, 25 and 31, I believe, 31 and 25. So we're gonna do uh, 30 and a half by 24 and a half, just to give us a little bit of a gap. So we'll go ahead and line it up here, so. Uh, we're gonna do the long ways here. So I don't know if you can see it, but let's go. Well, I'll just lift it up. All right. So uh, we're doing 29 and a half. So that is. Oh, it's 30 and a half. There it is. Okay, so 30 and a half. And we're going to go over 20, 20, four and a half, which is here. So we'll go down to here and cut it at 24 and a half. And we'll go at the top and do 24 and a half. Okay, so now we've got our piece, and this does not sit flat. Let me move you over here. Okay, so now we've got it, and we will go ahead and cut. So we'll grab our knife, and we'll grab our little uh, stick, yard stick, and we'll line it up. So our three marks are here here and here and we will go ahead and cut it and come across
not perfect, not necessarily straight. I realize that. That's fine. So we'll, but as long as it fits and keeps it protected, that's all that really matters. So it's going to work. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut another piece for our, our other cover. So I don't know if it's going to be... Well, that's probably pretty good. I'll probably just cut this piece and call it good. So we'll just cut this piece with the leftover. I mean, honestly, this thing's going to be wrapped in multiple layers of bubble wrap, so I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Um, and there we go. So now we've got the foam for the inside. So we'll start with this piece since we've already got it here. Um, we are, we'll probably go ahead and do this side. Um, just because it's, I don't think that the, the glue is going to stay there as well. So we're going to go ahead and glue it on here. So I'll probably use pretty liberal amounts just because I don't want it to come loose this bad boy over. We'll kind of center it and push down. All right, so now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to put some weight on it to kind of get it to stay in place. Okay, so just so you know what I did, I put another board that was kind of heavy but flat and about the same size on top of it to keep it even, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do our other piece. And here it is. And so we'll go ahead and do the shiny side up. Good. And then we'll do our glue again. Okay, so good there. Close that up. And we will flip it over. Alright, move that up. Okay, so it's a little off. Need it within the lines. Up. Oh, did I cut it a little big? I think I did. I did not realize that. So, I will go ahead and trim it. So, I'm going to move this down a little bit. Good, good. So, we'll go ahead and trim it. We'll just trim it at this little line that's here. 
Now we're probably pretty good. Let's toss those aside and we will go put, I'll actually go put the other board on top of this one just so that it can get that even displacement. So let's set that aside. Okay, so now we're gonna actually wait for that to dry uh, before we construct the rest of the box. So I'm gonna have to wait until that's had some time to dry and then we'll finish up the box. All right, now that the panels have had some time to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and construct the box. You can see that I pre-drilled. I don't know if you have to pre-drill, but I just worry about splitting uh, a lot. So. We'll go ahead and start using, uh, start screwing it down. I'm using the two inch screws because I think that that's probably long enough. That's gonna go about that deep, so that should be pretty good. And I don't know if I need this many screws, but just very, uh, very self-conscious about it falling apart and I definitely don't want that to happen. corner that's where all the screws are so I'm actually not going to use that one but I'll put one here I'm just going to use a much shorter screw so I'll probably use a one inch actually I think it has some these ones those are those are always one inch uh, so I'll go ahead and use that Can't even see. Okay, so for this corner, um, I use this. I'm using short screws. So I use two one-inch screws, and then I'll go back to two-inch screws for the rest of it. move too much now that all these screws are in here so I'll probably use a shorter screw just because I don't want it to protrude okay so pretty good there I think 
could tighten this down a little bit. Well, I just realized that it's probably going to look a little strange with partly black screws and partly gold screws, but I think I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, the reason I switched between using the black and going to the gold is only because I was thinking about it and these are two inch so if they're popping out the side they're gonna they're gonna puncture the bubble wrap or the painting they don't want that Flip it over and we'll take a look. So, none of them are coming through on the sides, so I think we're going to be okay. So, we'll go ahead and attach our other piece. Same thing, pre drill, and I'll screw it up. It's going to be so off.
Actually, I'll, I'll let you can see. Yeah, that's good. Okay. See, you didn't mess it up pretty bad. No. There. No, it keeps falling. It's gonna, I think it's going to keep falling out of the little extender. Actually. 
behind. Since it's kind of pulling away over here. I don't know if you can see it on the side, but here, I'll show you real quick. So over on the side, you can see the gap. Um, because the board obviously isn't 100% straight. And the, uh, I guess when I did it on this side, or when it dried actually overnight, it wasn't straight. So I'm gonna have to kind of compensate for that. So if you have clamps, that's gonna be your friend apparently for making the frame. But again, I didn't even have a drill I had to borrow. So it is what it is. Alright, so let's take a look at our box. Seems pretty solid actually. Kind of surprised because I'm not a carpenter or anything like that. So there is the inside. Um, now we've got our gap and literally the last piece that will go on is the lid which is right here and we'll put this side out so it's like that and like a glove now there's a little bit of overlap that's fine doesn't really matter um actually it might be good i actually did cut it a little big just to make sure that the whole thing was covered um so we'll leave that we're gonna take this down for now so we're pretty good here. Um, we could have put foam in the sides, which depending on how much bowl wrap I use, I might do that. I have some extra foam. But for now, oof. move that heavy old box. And we're gonna attach the handle. Now you don't have to attach the handle, but uh, you know, they said it makes it easier for the courier. And I'm all about trying to make people's life easy. So, I just bought this handle at Home Depot, ever built, it was like three bucks or something. So we'll attach this real quick, knock that out. Oh, it comes with little screws, but those screws don't look very sturdy, especially for the weight that this box is. So we'll go ahead and use I use one inch just so that it doesn't pop out the other side. So, honestly, I'm not going to show you uh, the packaged work because all you have to do is kind of follow their guidelines. I might do another video on that. Actually, I could talk about it real quick. So, here we'll talk about it. Okay, 
So with Saatchi art, um, if you send a framed painting or picture uh, that is bigger than 18 by 24, you have to do two things. You have to wrap the frame itself um, and then you have to put the glass in its own container. So essentially, this is the frame. Um, the frame is just wrapped in, it's wrapped in bubble wrap three times. So there's three layers of bubble wrap and it's got cardboard corners, corners which I did in another video. So that is, that, that's what you have to do for the frame. So you have to wrap it in bubble wrap and you have to put uh, little cardboard corners on here. Now, for the actual artwork, um, so the artwork and the glass are in here. The artwork and glass were wrapped in glass lined paper, and then they were, you know, then you have to basically sandwich it between foam. So this is actually foam, it's two inches bigger on every side than the glass and the artwork. And then I taped, like taped this down with packaging tape, so it's, it created like the little sandwich. Uh, with the foam and then I had to wrap it in plastic so that uh, moisture and stuff doesn't get in there because I mean this box is not going to be very it's not going to be sealed very well so you want to protect against moisture so it's a very good idea to wrap it in plastic um, so the uh, I actually just bought a mattress bag from Home Depot it was like six bucks and uh, wrapped it at the end folded the sides over trimmed it and then taped it down so it's it's wrapped in plastic so that's going to protect um it's going to help protect the painting so it's got the glass on then the foam then this so <clears throat> that's pretty much everything for this so really all that is going to go around these now is bubble wrap so for this uh gap that we've got we will just fill the gap with uh, bubble wrap and the artwork all right so that's it for the uh, package, um, there's not really anything else to it. You would just simply put this lid on top of here once the artwork is, you know, filled in there with the bubble wrap and everything. Uh, then you would put that on there and then you would just screw it down here and here um, and here and here. So you don't want to screw the side to the top just because they, uh, the way Saatchi Art does it is they only want one thing to to come off so the collector can get the workout. So you just screw this <clears throat> onto the top like this. And once you've got that on there, then you just screw the ends and then that's it. So that's it guys. Um, I know it was a long video, but I really wanted to kind of go in depth about everything that's here. Um, once you're back or once your package is finished, then you just attach your shipping documents to the front. I, I usually just put them on there and then put packaging tape over it so that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, but essentially that's it. I know, again, I know this is a long video and we kind of learned along the way because it's my first one, but following the directions, um, you know, kind of learned from it. But a couple of things that I would say that I learned um, that I would pass along. One, if you have clamps, that's gonna help you make the frame. Two, I used two by six um, instead of two by four only because um, the painting stacked on top of the frame adds to the thickness. So if you were just doing a canvas painting and not framed art, um, you probably wouldn't need a two by six. You could probably get away with the two by four and be just fine. Um, also, just make sure you use long enough screws um, on the ends. I would have preferred to use one by or three inch screws to go into both of them. Um, but I mean, the, the case, like having the, the side on there, the case uh, or the cover mm -hmm. is gonna probably keep it in place. So it's probably fine, but that's just what I would have preferred uh, probably. And then for these, I used two inch here. Some of these were like one and a quarter. I'd probably say that one and a half is probably good for the cover. So one and a half inch screws or maybe two inch, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. But if you're using, so if you're using two by six, I'd probably say two inch. If you're using uh, two by four, it's probably one and a half. So, I mean, it's really just, you just need this cover to not move. Um, but that's pretty much it. The covers and the two by sixes, I, I got all of it cut at Home Depot. So I measured out my painting 
beforehand so I knew how much it was, uh, like how much uh, space I needed. Again, it was three inches around the out, like the size of the painting. It was three inches around that. So, you know, three inches on every side is what I cut the covers to. And then I allotted for the one by sixes um, in the measurements of that. So just measure everything out before you get a cut. I actually did get pieces cut. I had to go back to the store because they were too small. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope that you found this video useful. And if you did, please leave a comment, like, rate, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you guys in another video. Take care.